Hello, 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 hello. I need to use some Vaseline on my lips. Hi, how are you? This is Coach Kemi. <clears throat> Here again. I have some things that have been percolating, you know, percolating in my mind. I'm looking for my Vaseline. <coughs> Where is my Vaseline? There you go. Oh. Um, something has been percolating in my mind for, um, uh, this morning, I think, yeah, since morning, um, I'm trying to set off my, my phone so that it just stands still. Oh, good. Yeah. Something has been percolating as my curtain. So bear with me. Let me just put it away. Yeah, something has been percolating in my mind. And I want to share it with you. I'm a bit late today with my video. Yes, I know. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, I was creating a shadow. And I just had to finish. I was creating a shadow for my global online summit so that I could interview my speakers. So. But I'll just wait for the first person to come. So that, you know, we start together kind of thing. Um, how many of you have journals or notes where you take notes and they're like, they're like, if you're going to sell it, it's just wealthy. Like, it's expensive. My, my notes, you know, this is one of them. <coughs> my notes are wealthy. Like, like my notes are wealthy let me make sure there are no clients <laughs> messages you're seeing there like my notes are wealthy yeah yeah my notes are like this is like some like when i was speaking with john obd one night he talked about anyone can steer the ship but it takes a leader to cha to chart charge chart the course <coughs> and he said, John Maxwell said that when I talk with people, I take notes. When I'm coaching people, I take notes. A leader, he said, is decisive. He said, don't do a Jonah with your calling. The office that you hold is very sensitive. He said, marketing is being fishers of men, being the salt of the earth, and going out to all the world. I'm telling you, you cannot define, define marketing any better. He said, be strategic about reaching the people your message is for. Music, the right kind of music. Music alters states, he said. said, said. Um, and he told, told me about so two, two movies I, I went to check out. Then he said, learn about the psychology of people. Hey, Mo speaks. Allow me to say hi. I was just talking about how, how, um, how, how expensive my notes are that does anyone have expensive like notes like when you go back to them i have nothing less than 30 40 <coughs> over the years okay no 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 let's let's not go that far maybe about 20 of different notes shapes and sizes i so i was speaking to one of the people i'm a mom to i am a mom to quite a few hi olamide and she was talking to me about depression when she used to be depressed. And I took notes when she was talking. I take notes when I coach people and I take notes when I'm just having a conversation. And I was writing what she put. She said, she said, depression makes, made her feel overwhelmed. She was constantly feeling low. She was constantly stuck in a dark and negative place. She said, I am not thinking to my, she said, I am not thinking to myself, oh my God, people don't like me. What am I being told of? My life is rubbish. No, she said, I am always thinking to myself, oh my God, people don't like me. Why am I being told of? My life is rubbish, etc." She said a few months ago, that would have been depression. That she would have thought too much about her situation, that her children don't like her, that she, that, that she is becoming like her mother. So I, 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 I listed um, six things from what she wrote. I wrote, depressive people don't take care of themselves. Depressive people don't take 
responsibility. This depressive people caught stinking thinking. Depressive people live in the past. Depressive people glorify their situation. Depressive people are amazing but have forgotten. I like that. Six things depressive people are. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I can't speak with Alami Day. So hopefully other people will join us. Okay, so I want to talk to you today about what you, what what the question is what are you thinking about? What are the thoughts on the ground of your mind? You know, as I've been working, I've noticed something. I've no I've noticed something about me. I've noticed that what when I'm doing something, hi Ade. Thank you for answering my questions yesterday. Um I've noticed that when I'm thinking, when I'm on a project and I'm doing something, my thoughts are funky, nasty. Like, I notice that I do not think about what I actually want. Let me say it again. I notice that I do not think about what I actually want. <coughs> What I have noticed I think on is what I don't want. Example, I'm, I'm, I'm working at this global online summit that I'm, uh, a tele summit that I'm going to put up mid-November. And I have to interview 50 people. And I'm doing what I need to do. I said, oh God, what if I don't find their email? What if, what if they say no? What if, what if, what if? That is not what I want. But all the things I am doing, my activity is what I want. But my thinking is what I don't want. So what are you thinking about? Because as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. It's not what you are doing that is going to get you what you want. It is what you are thinking. You see, there is a depth to the human being. Who God created in us is more than you are seeing here. It's more than this. It's, it's deeper than that. That's why you can think things into existence. Thoughts are things. That's why it's not what you do that will get you what you want. It is what you think. We are deeper, deeper, deeper than this. That's why the Bible must be read. That's why his word must be written on your heart. That's why you can't mess about. You cannot play with the Bible. I don't care what you are, who you what you believe. Pick up that Bible and read it. It will change your life. It will give you wisdom that... In fact, if you are looking for the wisdom, Josiah, sit back. Move back. You can't be so close. It's not good for your eyes. Sorry, it's my grandson. My thinking when I want to do something, I think about everything else that can go wrong. Yes. And we all do, or most of us do it. But we're really working hard. We're paddling hard underwater, you know? Like, yeah, 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 we're going to do this. This is going to happen. And this is going to happen. And this is going to happen. It's a lie. Oh. It's not going to happen. Because you know what? Your thoughts creep into your do. Your think creeps into your do. So you find that you either slow down or you don't actually do what you want. You don't move at the speed that you know you ought, that you know you ought to move. You don't follow up on that person that you want to get some business from. You don't you just realize when you look back the high trauma, you just realize thanks for joining me that when you look back you are doing what you are thinking and invariably you're going to get the results of your thoughts so what are you thinking about are you thinking about what you want or are you thinking about what you don't want can you imagine it took you two hours to finally do the live stream when if you are so what i have been doing see what i have been doing is when i you've got to catch yourself thinking so I have a mini course called Catch Yourself Thinking. It teaches you what to do. When I catch myself thinking, I stop the thought and I say, okay, this is actually not what I want. What that I, my daughter called, what I want is I actually want the positive results of what I am working at. Hi, Omolara. <laughs> Hi, Omolara. I actually want the positive results 
that I am working on. So, although I'm working, doing this, putting that, doing that, the other, my think is not in sync with my do. And my do must be in sync with my think for my do to happen, for my do to become the result I want. Hey, 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 hey. I get excited when I talk because I'm listening to myself. I'm thinking, what was that? What was that? That was God. That was God. Look, you've got to know that it is what you are thinking that you will get. Please, it is not what you are doing. It is what you are thinking. Seriously. So take time on your thinking. Focus on it. Pay attention to it. Be deliberate. Hi, I come to be. be deliberate about what you are thinking about. Don't just sit down there and be doing, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Sit down and think. There's this thing, an experiment that was done. There, there was a class and they divided them into two. They were going to play foot um, and basketball. So they took a group outside and they said, that's the ball, that's the court. Begin to practice because you're going to play against the other, the other group in class. Begin to practice putting the ball in the net. As many baskets as you can make. So they, went, they were practicing, they were doing the stuff. The others, they kept them in the room. Hey, you should hear this. They kept them in the room and they said, now I want the, all you guys here, I want you to imagine putting the ball in the net. Don't go out, don't practice, no ball, nothing. All of you just sit down here imagining putting the ball in the net. Because you're going to play with those guys out there. You're going to compete. I think when you play basketball, is is it's um five on on the five on each side. Guess who won? Guess who won? Guess who won when they went out to compete? Guess who won? The ones that were imagining, the ones that kept seeing the ball in the net. They kept seeing themselves bouncing it and doing oh uh, you know throwing it into the net. They kept they. they in the net like whoa I, I, for, I've read that ages ago for years I was thinking how did that work the more I study the art of how to think the easier it becomes I'm telling you it's called meditation because a, a synonym of think is deep thinking a synonym of think is imagine a synonym of think is consider a synonym of think is vision a synonym of think is see you can get all that on the Webster's Thesaurus. And I'm sure on the Cambridge Online Dictionary on the internet. You can, if you can imagine what you want, it's, it's, it's easy to think about what you meditated on. Because you are thinking on it deeply. All of us have formed habits because we have been thinking on them deeply. I don't know about unconscious. I know people are unconscious when they are unconscious. They are not here. I don't know about subconscious. I think that's something we created. Eh, you are subconscious. What does that mean? You're either conscious or unconscious. Which one is subconscious? You're either conscious or unconscious. You're either here or not here. When people have visions, open-eyed visions. Huh? I don't know. My, my grandson. I what is it with this little man? You know what dancing is? Go on, But why are you dancing? He's dancing. Okay, are those not dinosaurs? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, bear with me. Let me pay attention to Mr. You know who. What is this? But you touched it, Josiah. You're not meant to have touched it. Why did you touch it? See your face. Don't say that. Yeah, Just I will say that. Come on, this one, then. Yeah. Me? Hello, everyone. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to sort out the laptop for this little man. Um, Josiah? Yeah? Can, can I have the cover to the laptop so that I can move the... Yeah. Josiah. All right, so... Make sure you think becomes your do. Sorry, Josiah. That's the one you're watching. That's it. Um, hi, Uju. Make sure your think becomes your do. And if you are doing different from your think from what you are thinking, it's because you are.
you are not thinking right, obviously. Because you can be working really hard at what you are doing, but um, if you are not thinking it just as hard or even harder, what you, are do you will not get the results you want. Because many times, and it perplexed me for years, why am I working so hard and I'm not getting the same results? Can you imagine Josiah is disturbing me? Thank you, Stephen. I mean, get this guy. <laughs> But anyway, I was talking to you about those who imagined putting the ball in the net and those who actually went to practice. It is not the doing, 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 practicing, working hard. It is the thinking, the taking time to sit still and meditate on what you want, not what you don't want. Many of us are listening to me, listening to John Obidi, listening to Brendan Bouchard, we know all these people, but we are not thinking it. And we go out, or we go and buy the equipment, we go and we start something, we join that group, we, we purchase that course, we, but we are not thinking it. When you purchase it, uh, I'm not going to make it. So I know, I know, I know I'm not going to be really good at this. I'm, I'm not going to be really good at this, honestly. This thing is not going to work for me, it works for everybody else. That's what you are thinking, yet you are doing it. You spend the money. It's like hiring a coach. Hmm. This one that I failed and failed and failed and failed. Nothing is different is going to happen, you know. I'm just going to fail again. Maybe this coach can help me. You have failed before you started. And it's not the coach's fault, it's your fault. It's your thinking, your stinking, funky thinking. Toxic thinking. You see, I call it stinking thinking. It's actually toxic. And you know when something is toxic, it eventually kills you. It kills whatever it, it, it affects, it touches. So sit down, put, sit well, sit on well, lie down, stand on your head. Frankly, I don't care. Just meditate. Think deeply about what you want, not what you don't want. I'm telling you, there was once I did a, a I, I have this group, 10 day self-discipline training. I don't do anything with the group. All the 10 videos I've done, the 11, they are there. They are videos, they are not lives, they are videos. Then after that ten, I thought, oh, I could monetize this. Let me sell it. And I created a 10 modular course with like three or so lessons on diet. Self-discipline. I did the study, created the page, got the webinar ready, advertised it, did webinar. If I put the webinar in the group. <laughs> All that I was thinking nobody's, I'm telling you, I was thinking nobody's going to buy it. Will anybody, if, if maybe even one? Nobody bought it. Nobody. I've never sold that course because I haven't put it out again. Nobody bought it. No. Yes, toxic thinking skills. Nobody bought it. So now uh, my thinking is much better. Thank God. So I'm going to do a launch <laughs> of it because there is a mastermind group and there is just get the course and do it group. <coughs> so that's it. That's what I want to share with you. What are you thinking about? Always think about what you're thinking about. And if what you're thinking about is not what you want, stop it. That's how people are afraid. You are thinking that something will happen to your son, your daughter. They will, they will not pay you your salary. You will not become better. You plan to go abroad. You will never travel. You are thinking they will not give you, they will not give you the visa. They will not, oh, thank you for the likes. They will not give you the visa. They will not, you will not get it. Honestly, they will not promote you. You will not be promoted. Even though you are the best though, and everybody will be talking about it. I'm telling you, I have been through this. I used to get confused. I thought, I thought the devil was in my life. Honestly, I thought somebody had shake weight for me. <laughs> I thought somebody had, had, had said something in my life. I thought, well, because I'm not with my husband anymore, I'm not divorced. This is, this is how the cookie crumbles. It's a lie. It was my stinking thinking. Seriously, it was. Catch yourself thinking. If you want the course, let me know. Ah, it was nasty. Like super duper nasty. So yeah, that's what I want to share with you. Catch yourself thinking. Think only about what you want. Only about what you want. On my How to Think page, I am doing a series, video series. I'm going to do a live right now on how to think fast, how to think to move fast. Because I've realized we give ourselves too long 
on things that should take us a short time. We say, oh, okay. And it's only the, our thinking. We've not done it before. Or we've done it before and that's how long it takes us and we insist that that's how long it keep taking us. Think about what you want. If you are doing something and you have other things to do, for crying out loud, don't say, oh, okay, this is the only thing I can do today. Who told you that? It's a thought. Decide. Have a time go. I'm going to finish. This is going to take me 15 minutes. This is going to take me 15 minutes. Have a time go. Stick to your time go. This is going to take me 15 minutes. Bear with me. My phone is about to die off. So let me plug it. Take this off, because we're going to rest now. You're going to rest, okay? Yeah, you're going to lie down. Papa, there's a huge dinosaur. Really? There's a huge dinosaur? Oh, my goodness. I want to plug my phone. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, um, yeah. And I've also realized that the length of time we all have in the world is the length of time we have. So if, I, if God has decided I'm only going to live till I'm 60, then that's the only time I have to do what I've been told to do. And since I don't know when I'm, when I'm going, it makes sense to work quickly so I can finish. I want to be like Paul and say I've run the race, I've finished my course, now it's left for me a crown of righteousness. I don't want to sit around and be talking nonsense. And guess what? I found something else in Galatians 6 8 today. I don't know about the rest of you, but you need to re read 10 chapters of the Bible a day. If you are not reading a minimum 10 chapters of the Bible a day, it does not have to be 10 different chapters. It can be the same chapter 10 times. It can be one book and you go over it till you've done it 10 times. Minimum, absolute minimum. So I did Galatians twice today, and that's 12 chapters. Each, each Galatians is six chapters. I, I listened to it first time because I'm listening to it and following it in my, I'm listening to it and following it in my, my, my Bible. And I just noticed, I said, wait a minute. It says, it says, it says, oh, let me get my Bible. Let me get my Bible. Bear with me. Let me get my Bible. Oh, you have to hear what it says. <clears throat> um, it says, be not weary in well-doing. I believe, be not weary in well-doing. I just want to read it as it says it to you. Be not weary in well-doing. For and I, I, I just saw, I just saw a word that we bandy around. Yes, and ah, no, it's six nine. And 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 let us not be weary in well doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. See, I had to look up some words, some meanings. I had to look them up in the Greek. I said, okay, let me make sure I've got these meanings right. I mean, I was just like, way because <coughs> <coughs> I know many of us. <coughs> know that scripture, yeah? Be, and be not weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. The first word I looked up is faint. Look, all my life, to just recently, I start something, if I don't see the results quickly, I stop. Then I, I uh, then I go back. I, but, I, but you know what it's like, you have to start all over again. So you've missed the train. <laughs> you left or you got off the train at the wrong destination because you couldn't be bothered to wait till you reached where you were going. The reason you got on the train, you were going somewhere. You are not there. Ah, I can't do it again. It, do you know the meaning of faint? Faint means um, to relax. Don't relax till you have got your harvest. Don't relax don't relax don't relax stop sitting down hey i've been working since morning shut up get up and do it again because you have not reached the destination what do you mean you've been doing it what where did you drop from what does that mean i'm sure if some of us were jesus at least if i was jesus in those days i would have told god i said frankly i'm not even doing this for these people again <laughs> I am not doing it. They are not worth it. Uh, 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 uh. For how long? They, I'm taking care of this one. This one is stealing from me. That one is not feeding me. This one is calling me some, something else. That one is still... Ah, back up. This one is going to betray me. Then, ah, I'm not doing it. <laughs> and then I looked up the word season and reap. Season, me, uh, reap means in the sense of a crop, to harvest. So what happens? It grows Plants grow before they can be harvested. You don't just plant it and harvest it. You've got to keep going. What's the word? Consistency. That's the word I saw there. I looked at that. The first time I read that today, I said, what? I said, that's consistency.
Sorry, another call came through. That is consistency right there. Then I looked up another, the other word, um, season. Of, of course, many of you know what the word kairos means. It means an occasion set or proper time. There is a set at a proper time for, for you to, to, to reap if you do not relax. Don't relax. There is a set and a proper time. Hi, Remy. Um, it means, it means, it means, um, um, always opportunity season means opportunity. Huh? Be not, be not weary in well doing for in due season, in the due opportunity. So as you keep do going and doing and you are consistent, opportunity, due opportunity will show up for you, will show up for you. As long as you don't faint, that means don't relax. It also means don't, don't be faint. It means that season means convenient. When it is convenient, you will reap because the time, the season of convenience will show up. <laughs> it means due time, short time in a while, due season. Oh, I said, eh, I can't stop. I can't stop. I've got to keep going because there is an opportunity season going to show up. So what are you, but if you start doing something and your thoughts are, it's not going to work. How will it work? But you are paddling hard underwater. You are doing what you need to do. Your think is funky, but your do is super. You will get your think oh, according to that principle. You know, whether you obey a principle or not, whether you respect it or not, whether you follow it or not, it will hold true. The law of gravity will hold true. It's a principle. Get to a tree and say that you will hang in the air if you step off the tree. It's a, the principle will work. Whether you like it, you know it, you understand it, you respect it, you don't know it, it's irrelevant. You will drop to the ground. Hopefully, you won't break your leg. Don't be like me. Let your think and your do sink. They must sink. That is what alignment means. They must sink. They must be the same. If and it makes life easy when all you have to do is consider what do I want? That's what I'm going to think about. What I want is what I, I what I want is I've written to the borough yesterday and they're going to invite me and you are considering it. Huh? You are seeing pictures. Huh? You are imagining it. Huh? You are meditating on it. They're going to invite me. They're going to give me my office. They're going to say, ah, we need you. You know, I have a testimony. I wrote it yesterday. Uh, I sent a, a, <coughs> a letter with some case studies to the borough in which I live. And, uh, Oh dear. I sent, you know, to the borough in which I live. I said, I, I titled the, the, and I put, added the two attachments, the attachments, the letter and the case study. And my email said, bring in the art of how to think to the Bexley, to the borough of Bexley. And I said, dear, you know, I'd already called through to find out who the head of youth services is. Dear, please note two attachments and, um, and, and one explaining who I am and what I'm about. And what I what I would like from you, and the other a case study, and I forwarded it. They asked me to also send it, copy somebody else, please. I put what I wrote, the subject heading, I put it as a post on my personal profile. And I said, What have you been thinking about for five, six, seven years? I've been thinking about this for five, six years. And I never did it. <coughs> Moved in a little and I said, Oh, oh no, they won't, they won't take me. You're thinking, eh? It will be if it's thinking, eh? Your doing will be stinking. In fact, your doing will be worse than your thinking. It's horrible. Because what you think will give birth, you know, out of the loss, you know, you, you, it says that sin gives birth. <laughs> oh, your loss gives birth, rather. What you are thinking, lost is a thought. So I sent it out. Guess what happened? A friend responded and said, the borough of Camden needs you. Please, can I have the, what you sent to them? I thought, what? I, they have not responded to me. I just emailed. Then I emailed. Do you see what happens when you step out? When you step out, do you see what happens to you? Do you see what God has got in store for you? Hmm. And it's no good when you don't know what is got in store. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard, and the heart of man has not perceived what the Lord has in store for those who love him. Who love him? Hey, hey. Already, I have not, they have not even answered me in the first one. Another one is already calling me. And that is all I keep seeing. The whole of London, the boroughs in London. And I've got to keep seeing it. It grows. 
So do not be weary in doing, in well doing, for in due season you will reap. You will get the harvest if you don't relax, if you don't faint. So make sure your thinking is in line with what you do, so that with what you want, so that what you do will be exactly what you're thinking, and therefore what you get will be exactly what you're thinking. The world needs you. The world needs us, man. Yeah, let's go, girl. You're talking, you're talking. Virtual high five, boom, yeah. Okay, that's me. <coughs> Off to my business page to talk about step three of moving fast, how to move fast. I've learned now to move fast. Everything I do, psh, psh, psh. I only have a limited number of years on the face of the earth. Every time I'm sitting down watching this, eating that, speaking with somebody I should not be speaking to, that's not leading me to my end goal. What is that about? There is a time for everything. A time to sleep, a time to wake, a time to fight, a time to, to laugh. Let's do what we need to do in the time we are supposed to do it. And you will know. You will know. You will know when you are messing about. You will know when you are just sitting about and faffing about. You will know. Nobody needs to tell you. Alright, thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.